If it wasn't Randy Savage that I beat back when, in 1997, if it was a guy who, it, it, it had to be Savage. Because Savage still was seen like as big as you can go. And he he's kind of like the James Dean of wrestling. I mean, everybody still dresses up like Randy. Everybody, including me, do the, the Randy impersonation. You know, everybody's wearing T-shirts. Like, he's like, I, I don't know how to say it, but, you know, a different level of icon. And that's a guy I beat to change my career. And he's the guy who made it happen. Scott and Kev set me up. Without those cats, it never happens. But, man, Randy, I'll never forget <laughs> that Randy... We were in um we were you know in the locker room getting dressed and Arn came in and he um he said, So Randy, what do you want to do tonight? And every night, bro, I'm getting left laying by the NWL. That's what we're doing. <laughs> or I escape, maybe hit Virgil, you know, and <laughs> escape through the crowd, you know. But most nights I'm getting left laying. And uh Randy says, I mm, think I want to take the diamond cutter. Like there's no cameras. There's no people there. You know, there's, there's, pl there's plenty of people. The place is packed. There was 5,000 people who can't get in because we were so hot at that time. And they hadn't started booking, except for nitros and stuff, the big buildings yet. Yeah. They'd only, they, we had like an ice hockey rink. So maybe it held 11,000 people. There's 5,000 people who couldn't get in. And we went out there, man. And he beat the hell out of me. <laughs> he was stiff as hell at times. And you gave it right back, you know. But I wouldn't get much because he was going to, because he's about to do the J-O-B. -J and uh, he's going to make sure he's whooping my ass hard. And uh, bottom line is at some point I started blowing a comeback. He stopped me, took, picked me up, and diamond cutter. And I freaking slipped into that baby, and the roof blew off. And he'd been beating the hell out of me, so I just lay there. And he took the diamond cutter, so he's just laying there looking up at the lights. And I didn't move. And then the people started rumbling and rumbling and rumbling. And I just laid my arm over him. One, two, three. And it was one of the loudest pops I've ever heard. And because it was so many people in that smaller building, it was it was surreal, man. And I could hear him say, mm, mm, think you know what we're going to do for you. Ooh, spring stampede. And I'm like, no. Like, you don't ever believe. Yeah. You don't ever believe when something that huge in your business, in this business, you don't believe it until you're walking to the ring. That's... And now you know they can't change it. You know? <laughs> yeah. They can try, but they ain't gonna. <laughs> that shit's going down. No, that's incredible. And really quick, by the way, you're bringing up, bringing up uh, Macho Man. The elbow drop from him on a scale of 1 oh. to 10, level of pain, can you, where is it at? Is that a 10? 25. <laughs> 25. <laughs> And I'm sure when Randy first started doing it, he took a brunt of it and to protect you. Yeah. But, bro, when I was 40, I turned 41 the, the night before I beat him. So my whole run's in my 40s, being on top. And Randy, if you were lucky enough to take the, cut, uh, take the elbow, he used you as his crash bag. The first time he did it, I I'm just laying there. He goes, he knocked me out with that, that, that gimmick to the head. I'm laying there. When he landed on me, I thought, because he came from this side, I thought the left side of my body's rib cage just opened up and my guts were all over the you know the ring. And I know he's gonna do it again. Oh man. Yeah, you probably can't probably can't use this, but I'll tell you, I pissed blood for 13 out of 15 weeks. I mean, bad. And the doctor told me, I didn't go to the team doctor. I went to my doctor. And he's like, you need to take three weeks off minimum. I'm like, okay. 
at this is the biggest run of my life. I'm not doing anything. I you I'd have to have torn my rotator cuff and couldn't pick my arm up, you know, to to taking a you know a break. <laughs> 